Okay, always with the end in mind, this is what we're striving for right now. We've got to create a drawing and plot our drawing out. Well, we've already made the drawing. We've already just did that in AutoCAD. But this is the results that we want from AutoCAD. is a sheet, a paper sheet, that we can put into our portfolio binder that shows the details of this part. But more importantly, this is a drawing that someone can take that doesn't know our language. Maybe they speak Chinese or maybe they speak Spanish. And they can come and look at this part look at the scale and figure out what they need to do to actually manufacture this part. This is the ultimate goal of a designer and a drafter or an engineer is to create a product of which that can be manufactured or produced or created. So let's go back to AutoCAD and let's figure out how to get to this point right here. So I'll come down here to my menu and I'll come over here to AutoCAD. Now to do that we are in what's called the model view which you see over here in the lower left hand corner. Now I've already created one layout that shows how to do that so I'm going to go ahead and create a second layout right here. So I'll click on this and it brings the drawing up. Well I can kind of hardly see it over here. Let's do a little house cleaning first. Let's go ahead and get rid of our properties menu. So I can hardly kind of see what's going on but I'm going to roll out a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and start making my modifications. First thing I want to do is check and make sure I'm in pay-per-view down here. So I'm going to click on this viewport. Now the viewport is basically a window into your model which is the drawing you created. Or it's the ability to create a perspective or basically you're looking through kind of a rectangular box here at your drawing that's on this. So the first thing I want to do is just grab these uh, handles out here to the lower right. I'll click there and I'm kind of off of that so let me zoom up here. Yeah you can see I'm off of it so I'll grab that blue handle and get it right over here to that edge right there. Just that just a little bit more. Okay that should actually work out right here so we'll go with that. So we'll roll back out grab my middle mouse button by pushing down on my middle mouse button and I come over here and get the diagonal which is this one up here and I'll roll it up to that view right there okay now if you notice uh, we're zoomed way out and if you look down here we have uh, the scale of the viewport well that's basically almost a little over half inch I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna come up here to the top where it says one to one and when it's at one to one I can see my drawing in here so now I'm going to hit escape to get out of the viewport selection and I'm going to hit my mouse and first of all let me go to model and I'm going to grab my mouse and I'm going to move the model around or the view inside of the drawing around to where I'm around the dotted edge that you see here let me roll up on that so I can see that I'm right at the, the dotted edge Actually, you can't see that because I've scaled back up to 1 to 15. So let's go back out here again. All right, so let's see if we can drag this over to this view right there. Okay, it looks pretty good right now. Uh, let's come back to this in a second. Okay, before we proceed much further, it's really hard to see where our drawing is uh, laying out with respect to our viewport window. The reason it's hard to see is our colors. We've got our colors at you know cyan and orange and yellow and green so it's kinda hard to see. I know it is for me. So what I'm gonna do is come up here to layer properties and fix that just in the layer properties where I can see this layout better to make sure I'm doing this correctly. So I click on this it opens up my layer properties. And if you come out here you've got your color like we said here but also see this VP color that stands for viewport color. Well we know our border sheet is cyan so let's turn that to black so if we're like looking at it on a sheet of paper let's click on that. Alright let's come up here and close that window. It's always a two click process. Now you can see if we roll up on this you can see the actual viewport color. Again I just changed that so let's go back and set that to one. Okay, I can see the border sheet around there. Well, let's go ahead and do that to the rest of the layers so we can see it a little bit better in our window to lay out. So that way we don't waste paper when we print these. I'll change that to uh, black. Let's go do the same for um, the ISO part. Let's do the same for the dimensions. Okay, and so we've got that in there as well. 
All right, let's uh, go back to closing this out, properties panel for layers. Yeah, we can see our drawing a bit better here now. So I'm going to take and drag this around to where I'm better within the dotted edge, which essentially s simulates the cut size or the actual printable size on your actual printer. Now it varies from one printer to the next. Okay, let's see if we can see this a little better by toggling the grid off. Ah, much better. So now we can see this better laid out in our view. Well, I think this is pretty much what we want to do. So let's go over here now to plot manage uh, to the layout here, and let's uh, right mouse click on that, and let's go to plot. Okay, now this is says it's set to uh, none. So we're going to come down here and set it to Adobe PDF. A couple things here real quickly is to make sure that we're set to scale of one to one. That's very important. And the reason that's important is that when you print your drawing and someone takes a ruler or scale and lays it on your drawing, that they can see that it would say two inches on the base of the front view, which we know would be two times two, which would be four. So it would make the drawing accurate. Here's a biggie right here is to make sure that we set the pin the plot table uh, size or our pin assignments. Now some people what they mean by pin assignments is they may have a pin plotter that uses pins to print and you can actually change the colors of each uh, pin you want to, to draw your drawing out. Some architects like to have multiple colors for their different drawings, particularly on a landscape plan. Well we're doing a mechanical part so we don't worry about landscapes. So we're going to come down here and we're going to select uh, this monochrome CTB that's our pin table that we're going to use it select that and then now it's set to PDF we're going to go ahead and hit <clears throat> OK so it's going out and it's creating our PDF I'm going to scroll down here and see all my PDFs well I've got version 3 in there I want to change that to 4 hit escape and it's going to go out and create that PDF Once that's created, we'll go to that folder and we're going to open up that PDF and take a look at it. Okay, it says my PDF got created, so there it is. So let's zoom out on this and see what it looks like. Well, I need to look at that horizontally. You know, Mr. Platt doesn't like looking at things that not correct orientation. So what I'm going to do is come up here to View, and I'm going to come down here towards this Rotate View uh, counterclockwise. Ah, that's perfect. That's what I want. Now I'm going to use my uh, plus key here for my magnifying glass. I'm going to come up there and use my uh, tab key, excuse me, my space bar. I'm going to pan this up. Now I have on mine the uh, set to ruler. How do I get to that? Well, let's right mouse click on this. Let's come over here to more tools and let's make sure there's a ruler out there. Sure enough, right here in this second section says analysis two bar. I've gone ahead and clicked on this and checked it off for measuring. So I'm going to hit OK. Grab this, and I'm going to come down here and snap to the very edge. Now it'll try to jump out to the leader line. I'm going to snap to the very edge, come over here to this edge here. Click on it, pull down, and accept that. And that's two inches. That's perfect. Now, again, that's two inches. The scale is half which would mean we'd multiply that times 2 to get the 4. So if I hit my space bar and drag this down, you see the 4 up here, so we know our measurement is correct. Now let's take that out, because we definitely do not want to uh, have that in our drawing. So I'll hit Escape. I'll select that again, and just hit Delete, because it will print if you make an annotation like that. Let's go to View, Full View. And on this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit my Print. And I have a brother uh, L3230, whatever that is, printer, so I'm going to go ahead and hit print. Okay, see my preview looks pretty good. Hit OK. Well, I think my printer just lit up and started to roll out my drawing. Okay, well, I've got a print coming out of my printer now. I've, since I printed this already once before, I know it's correct. I'm going to go ahead and end this video and let's go ahead and move on to part 20 and do the process for that as well.